This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne. Emily banged her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name. Remember when this was just a dream shared by a few angry, desperate men in the back room of a bar? This is all Martin's fault. If we hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison, Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy and afraid. If, if, if. Always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when.
it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. <laughs>